Labor Day is just around the corner. Some of you may be thinking about back to school, the end of summer. For football fans, we know it's the beginning of the NFL season. If you haven't finished your fantasy football team yet, we have a special guest today with some tips. Welcome to Digits. I am Paul Vigna. I'm very pleased to welcome NFL Hall of Famer, three-time Super Bowl champion Jerry Rice to the show. He joins us from San Francisco. Jerry, welcome to Digits. Glad to have you on today. Hey, thanks for having me. Oh, absolutely. So you are part of a group that is talking about the, the sort of the intersection of big data and football and how that affects fantasy football, how that affects, affects the fan experience. Uh, you've been around the game a long time, obviously as a player, also as an analyst. How has big data changed the game lately? Well, I think uh, Intel uh, is bringing uh, the technology to you much quicker, much faster. And a huge experience is fantasy football. And uh, Intel is behind the technology that delivers the real-time stats to the fans, and it also powering the devices, the Intel's uh, Ultrabook, uh, those uh, fantasy football uh, fans are using. So, you know, it's it's a completely different ball game now because back in the day when you played fantasy football, it took you forever to uh, bring up all of those stats, decide on the players that you want to be involved in, and with today's uh, society now and fantasy football it's a lot faster and it also it gives the people an opportunity to feel like they're part of the uh, of the game so it gives them instant uh, gratification so um, i'm happy to be teaming up with uh intel and uh you know we're just gonna have a great time yeah now you're out of the game now you do some work as an analyst how do you see how do you see the, the, the whole football experience from your point of view now being changed by fantasy football, by this advent of, of big data? Well, you have the coaches uh, using the technology now, the multi-view cameras and stuff like that. They can measure the tendencies of, of players. And also, you know, through fantasy football, if a person, individual is having personal problems off the field or if he's having just... Uh, just distracted by so many uh, different things that doesn't entail football, then that might impact uh, an individual drafting this person or doing whatever. So, so you know, just technology like that on the football field. Then they have field sensors uh, where it's going to make uh, these athletes uh, better perform. And you look at other sports too, like uh, tennis. What's happening with tennis? Uh, you have sensors, then you have uh, also cameras that can follow the trajectory of the ball, and you can be like the judge and the jury and decide if the ball hit the line or if it was long. And, and then you have wearable uh, technology that can help benefit players and stuff like that, monitor their heart. It can tell them the distance that it, they have run, the calories that they have burned, all of that. So there are so many advantages uh, to this uh, data right now. Right. Uh, but Jerry, still, even having access to big data, these fantasy football players can't 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 prevent you from making a bad pick. You still could pick uh, Tim Tebow as your quarterback, right? Well, yeah, yeah. You you can pick uh, a player like that, but you know, you have all the information, all the the data right there in front of you, and you know. It'll tell you if this person, if he functioned well in in bad weather games, or if he uh, if he, if he doesn't function well. And like I said, uh, you can pick these individuals, and they still have to be able to perform. But uh, you know, at least you have all the research, the data right there in front of you. Jerry, has has it changed how you view the game? Uh, you know, it's it's a totally uh, passing league now. It's it's much different because back in the day, it was a more about that balance attack, you know, running the football and throwing the football. And 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 I think the thing now is that uh, 
it's a passer league. They like to see the ball in the air. They like to see touchdowns. They like to see running back score touchdowns and gain yardage and all that. And it's the same thing with receivers. So, uh, you know, I, I compare this to like the day back when uh, Mark McGuire and uh, Sammy Sosa, when they were hitting all those home runs. And I think they completely saved uh, baseball. So the fans, they like to see a lot of action. And, uh, and that's what you're seeing today.